We've got a project we're working on today. We've got about 13 oak trees that we're going to thin out the canopies on. What that's going to do for us is it's going to prevent the trees from having that wind sail effect during high winds. So it's going to reduce the chances of the tops of the tree breaking and it also adds to the health of the tree. Photosynthesis is created by your, by your leaves. If you have a lot of inner growth and stuff, those leaves are kind of counterproductive to the tree because they're not catching the sunlight the way they want the ones on the outside do. So you want to keep that inside growth down to a minimal just for the health of the tree, besides it getting rid of the wind sail effect. We're also going to be checking the trees for evidence of inner damage to the tree. You've got some decay going on, root structure are in good shape and stuff. These are another safety factor for, for preventing things happening in high winds. We have hypoxia is, is, a, is a form of fungus that causes a lot of issues in oak trees and stuff. It's very easy to identify in a tree. You, you do get mold on, on the outside of the tree on the bark and that. Most of that is superficial. It doesn't do any damage to the tree. But hypoxia is actually, it looks like white spray paint on, a, on an oak tree. And it is a sign that there is decay inside the tree, which it's gonna reduce the chances that tree be able to ha handle high winds. So we wanna identify that. Just because it has epoxy, it doesn't mean that the tree has necessarily got to go away. What it means is we need to evaluate it further to see just how bad the issue is inside the tree. Uh, and we have innovative systems that we can use to make that happen. We can, we can do sound wave technology through the tree, which lets us know just how much solid material we have versus not solid material. Most of the time when you have decay and, and rot and stuff inside of a tree, there is no fixing it. Down here you almost have a 12 month growing period. The trees down here grow almost continuously throughout the year. Your northern regions, where I come from, your growing season stops for four, five, six months out of the year because of the winter months. The trees kind of go into a dormant stage and their, their root systems tend to take over and start growing more of a root structure rather than the canopies. Up here, depending on the species of tree, you're gonna, you're gonna be pruning them on a pretty regular basis and that's a perfect opportunity for you to be inspecting them for other issues. What a lot of people don't realize is that trees add a huge value to your estate. If you lose a mature tree on your estate, it reduces the value of your property by 17 to 20%. If it's a, if it's a heritage tree, if it's a very good tree like a live oak, live oaks are great trees. They have a very long lifespan. It takes a very long time for them to grow. It's imperative to keep, keep them healthy in that if you wanna keep the value of your real estate up. We want to be checking to make sure that things are pruned back properly. Sometimes trees get a little bit overgrown. They're like children. They become very unruly as they get bigger. So we, we want to kind of keep them in, in their corrals. So instead of re removing the tree, we'll do what's called a crown reduction. And the crown reduction, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the whole canopy of the tree, bring it in strategically so it still keeps the same look of the tree but it reduces the canopy size so that you're not having those high winds breaking stuff off and it's not causing as much issues for cleanup each year with all the leaves and stuff. With today's technology and stuff, it's very easy to get in contact with an arborist like myself, send some pictures to me and say, hey, I've got this going on with my tree and, and we can let you know if it's something you should be worried about or it's not. Like I said, there's, there's a lot of funguses and that that grow on trees and that, they are a non-issue. But there are some that if you don't know how to properly identify them, they're, they're, they're giving you a, a sign that there's issues inside the tree and you're looking for trouble down the road.